Good morning children. I welcome you all to the next video of class 11th accountancy and we are going to continue the first chapter. This is the second part of first chapter. We want to functions of accounting. What are the main functions of accounting? The first one is maintaining complete and systematic record. Main function of accounting is to maintain complete and systematic record of business transactions, post them to ledger and to prepare the financial statements that is profit and loss account and balance sheet. The second one is communicating the financial results to various parties. First we are preparing profit and loss account and balance sheet then we are communicating it to the users. Third is protecting the assets of the business. Another function of accounting is to maintain proper record of various assets such as cash, bank, inventory, debtor. It helps the management to keep proper control over them. Then fourth is providing assistance to management. By providing timely information, accounting assists the management in the task of planning, controlling and decision making. Next is trusteeship. What does that mean? In case of companies, the management is entrusted with the task of controlling the resources of the enterprise. The management is expected to act as trustee of the company funds and accounting assists them to control the resources properly. Next is complaints of legal needs. Under the provision of various laws such as Companies Act, Income Tax Act, Goods and Service Tax Act, business firm has to submit various statements such as annual accounts, income tax and GST returns. Accounting perform this function by supplying the information to the government agencies. Last one is fixing responsibility. What does that mean? Another function of accounting is to determine the profitability of each department of an enterprise. It facilitates the fixing of responsibility of each departmental head. Then we move ahead to bookkeeping, accounting and accountancy. There are basically three things. So separately I am going to tell you what are these. First is bookkeeping. What is bookkeeping? Bookkeeping is a science and art of recording correctly in the books of accounts all those business transactions that result in the transfer of money or money's worth. The maintenance of books of accounts includes the following activities also identifying the transaction of financial nature from amongst the various transactions measuring the identified transaction in terms of money, recording the identified transaction in the books of original entry, classifying them into ledger. Next is accounting. What is accounting? We have already explained you. Now here also accounting starts where bookkeeping ends. Wherever bookkeeping is ending, there accounting will start. It includes summarizing the classified transaction in the form of profit and loss account. Analyzing and interpreting the summarized results of profit and loss account and balance sheet. Drawing the meaningful information from profit and loss account and balance sheet. And communicating the information to the interested parties. <coughs> then what is accountancy? Accountancy refers to systematic knowledge of accounting concerned with the principles and Techniques which are applied in accounting. It tells us how to prepare the books of account, how to summarize the accounting information and how to communicate it to the interested parties. Accountancy refers to the entire body of the theory and practice of accountancy. There can be questions regarding the distinctions between bookkeeping and accounting. There can be accounting and accountancy also. So when you have got the meaning of bookkeeping, accounting and accountancy, you can easily differentiate between them also. Then comes types or subfields of accounting or branches of accounting. There are basically many branches. First is financial accounting. What is that? The main purpose of this branch of accounting is to record the business transaction in a systematic manner. To ascertain the profit and loss of the accounting period by preparing profit and loss and to present the financial position of the business by preparing a balance sheet. Next is cost accounting. The main purpose of cost accounting is to ascertain the total cost and per unit cost of goods produced and services rendered by the business. It also estimates the cost in advance and helps the management in exercising strict control over the cost. Third is management accounting. What is that? 
द मेन पर्पज ऑफ मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटिंग इज टू प्रेजेंट द अकाउंटिंग इन्फॉर्मेशन इन सच अ वे एज टू असिस्ट द मैनेजमेंट इन प्लानिंग एंड कंट्रोलिंग द ऑपरेशन ऑफ द बिजनेस द मैनेजमेंट अकाउंटेंट यूज वेरियस टेक्निक्स एंड कॉन्सेप्ट टू मेक द अकाउंटिंग डाटा मोर यूजफुल फॉर मैनेजरियल डिसीजन मेकिंग देन कम्स टैक्स अकाउंटिंग द ब्रांच ऑफ अकाउंटिंग विच इज यूज फॉर टैक्स पर्पजेज सच एज जी एस टी और इनकम टैक्स इज नोन एज टैक्स अकाउंटिंग देन कम्स द सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी अकाउंटिंग द सोसाइटी प्रोवाइड्स द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर इन द फेसिलिटीज विदाउट विच बिजनेस के नॉट ऑपरेट एट ऑल हैंस द बिजनेस ऑल्सो हैज द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी टू द सोसाइटी देर इज अ ग्रोइंग डिमांड फॉर रिपोर्ट्स ऑन एक्टिविटीज विच रिफ्लेक्ट द कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ एन एंटरप्राइज टू द सोसाइटी so social responsibility accounting is the process of identifying measuring and communicating the contribution of the society the contribution of the business to the society consists of providing employment to underprivileged or providing financial and manpower support for public programs environmental contributions then product safety product durability then customer satisfaction etc next we move on to the users of accounting information and their needs basically it is divided into two things internal users they are owners and management and then comes the external users also so in internal users owners present investors contribute capital in the business and as such want to know about the profitability and financial soundness of the business that's why they are known as the users of accounting information then management needs accounting information for the efficient and smooth running of the business enterprise their need are met by accounting information provided by the published reports of the business enterprise such as profit and loss account balance sheet and cash flow statements then comes external users in them there are many external users first is potential investors potential investors need information to judge how safe and rewarding the proposed investment will be short term creditors want information about the credit worthiness of the business enterprise then comes long term creditors that is financial institutions want to judge whether their principal and the interest thereof will be repaid when they when it is due and whether they should extend or maintain the long term loans to the enterprise or not then comes employees they need information about the profit of the business to assess the ability of the business to pay higher wages and bonuses then tax authorities need information for the assessment of income tax and gst government and their agencies require this information to form policies related to taxation and allocation of resources then social responsibility groups such as environmental protection groups need this information so that they can see the impact on environment and the steps taken by the enterprise for the protection of environment then public needed for variety of ways such as provider of employment provider of amenities in the localities then competitors want information on the relative strength and weakness of the enterprise and for making comparisons then comes the advantages of uses of accounting so what are the advantages of accounting first it is helpful in management of business that is helpful in planning management would like to know whether the sales are increasing or decreasing and also the speed of increase in the cost of production then helps in decision making that is at times the management has to take a number of decision for example what should be selling price of the product how much discount should be offered to the customers helpful in controlling management would like to see that the cost of incurred is reasonable or not then next is second provides complete and systematic record business transaction have to grown in size and complexity and it is not possible to remember each and every transaction so accounting keeps a prompt and systematic record then third is information regarding profit and loss accounting reports the net result of business activities of the accounting period then fourth is information regarding financial position that is we prepare balance sheet and we know the financial position of the business then enables comparative study because we need to compare our profits with other companies also so we need comparative study then it is helpful in assessment of tax liability as i have already told you for income tax and gst then evidence in legal matters also properly maintained account supports the authenticated documents 
then facilitate sales of business because business entity is being sold the accounting information can be utilized then it is helpful in raising loans because great help while raising loans from banks or other financial institutions then helpful in partnership accounts accounting records provides all the information needed at the time of admission of the partner retirement or death of the partner goodwill of the firm is also valued on the basis of accounting records and the last one is helpful in presentation of errors and frauds so these are basically the advantages or uses of accounting so in this video we are going to study up till here only in the next video we are going to move ahead up till then goodbye children